life goes on And so do we Just how we do it is no mystery One by one We fill the days We find a thousand different ways Sometimes the answer can be hard to find That's something I will never be I'm always here for anything that you need Rain or shine, I'll be the one To share it all as life goes on We share it all as life goes on Now, here's an evening of good family entertainment, huh? The sound of music is coming back to town. Forget that, Daddy. Look at this. Judgment on Nuremberg on ice. <laughs> Brian Boitano as Ernst Janning. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't really make any plans until I find out about that new assignment I applied for. What new assignment? To be the police liaison to the mayor's commission on women's issues. Whoa, Barbara, that sounds like a very prestigious job. It is, and Daddy, the word is I'm the front runner. Not only am I a good cop, but I have seniority, and I'm practically the only eligible woman in the department. So, Daddy, should I call Ticketmaster? I'll hold off on that, dude. <laughs> Oh, good. You're all here because the Deetsters got something to show you. No! I'm gonna take that as a yes. Charlie, you got a tattoo. How could you desecrate your body that way? Easy, I was blotto. Plus, it was the only way I could get this Pamela babe into bed. Well, Charlie, I hope it was worth it. You're gonna have to live with that tattoo for the rest of your life. What? <laughs> Didn't they tell you that when they gave it to you? It's all kind of blurry, Harry. I just remember vomiting a lot. <laughs> well, I'm done with breakfast. <laughs> Laverne, doctor needs his usual sorry it didn't work out between us carnations. <laughs> now, Frank, I wouldn't say his dating life is in a toilet. I'd say it's... No, toilet pretty much sums it up. All right, my dear, bye-bye. Call me anytime you need me. Okay, Laverne, if that's it for the morning, I'm going to lunch. I'm sorry, doctor, we've had an unscheduled walk-in. Famous child evangelist, room one. Timmy Moses? Tiny Timmy Moses. The tiny Timmy Moses. He's big. He's told more people they're going to hell than any other eight-year-old in America today. Really? What's his problem? Well, I guess there's just too much sin in the world for his liking. No, I mean, why is he here? Oh, Larry and Daddy. Thank you. Hi, Timmy, Mrs. Moses. I'm Dr. Weston. Laverne tells me you lost your voice, huh? Well, come on. I guess it hurts a little bit. But let me take a look in it. Can you open wide and say, ah? <laughs> Can you say, amen? Amen. <laughs> yeah, just open wide and don't say anything. Let me take a little look, all right? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Ah. Well, I don't see any signs of infection. You know what I think? I think you've just overused your voice. So this is what you're going to have to do here. Well, you just gargle with some warm salt water and no preaching for a little while, anyway. For how long, Dr. Weston? Timmy has a very important revival on the 18th. He's headlining in the main tent. Ooh, well, don't worry. If you follow my advice, he's going to be all better by now. Thank you, Dr. Timmy will say a prayer for you. Thank you. A silent one. <laughs> I might do. You, you'll call me in a couple of days. Yes, I will. All right, Laverne. Dr. Weston is now going to lunch. Uh, wait, doctor. Um, we need to have a talk. Oh, what is it? Well, it's about the wretched damn mess you have made of your love life. I beg your pardon. 
It's about the wretched damn mess you have made. Well, I heard what you said. Well, the truth is, I feel sort of guilty. For two and a half years, I've been sitting here on my duff while you have wallowed in a sea of dating ineptitude. What are you talking about? Doctor, you are looking at a matchmaker with a perfect record. Oh, I said no. Thank you. I appreciate the thought. Not necessary. Okay, now I need to ask you a few questions here. Question number one. What is your favorite form of precipitation? Hell. Uh-huh. <laughs> Question number two. Free associate with the word mew. Laverne. I resent that. No, 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 no. I'm Donald O'Connor. That's better. Now, we need to be scientific here. If a wolverine was a-chasing you, would you tend to run east or west? <laughs> Laverne, please, no more questions. I am going to lunch. I have a date. As you can see, I am perfectly capable of finding a suitable woman. That reminds me, that suitable woman just phoned and canceled. She claims she has five separate and distinct personalities, and four of them hate your guts. <laughs> I'm so glad you introduced yourself to me today. Well, I've wanted to for a while, but I'm still pretty new on the force, and I figured anyone with your personality and looks must have more friends than she knows what to do with. Oh, well, you can never have too many friends. <laughs> Thought I heard someone down here. Barbie Barb, aren't you going to introduce me to your little playmate? <laughs> this is my sister, Carol. Hi, I'm Ann Caldwell. Barbara and I work together. Oh, really? That's odd. I thought I knew all Barbara's friends on the fourth. <laughs> Come on, Anne. I'll show you the rest of my back scratcher collection. It's such an unusual thing to collect, Barbara. You really are an original. <laughs> Look at Barbara. She found a new friend. <laughs> but I've always got you, Dreyfus. Let me tell you about my day. <laughs> And this one I got in Chinatown on my trip to New York. Cute. Oh, but this one is so cool. It's musical. You wind it up, and it plays my boyfriend's back. Uh. <laughs> what an incredible collection. Oh, this is so much fun, Barbara. We really should get together more often. But you probably won't have a lot of time for the little people like me once you get that job on the mayor's commission. Of course I will, if I get it. This one is all the way from Canada. Oh, but you're gonna get the job. Everybody knows that. You're obviously the most qualified. No one else even comes close. Well... So, have you thought about what you'd like to accomplish on the commission? Oh, yeah. You see, I think it's time we realize that women's issues are really people issues. Like daycare. I, uh, I thought Anne might like a snack. Oh, thank you. So, Barbara, who actually decides who gets this position? Well, one of the mayor's assistants interviews everybody next week, and then he decides. Hmm. And this assistant, have you scoped him out? Do you know what he's like? Yeah, I've heard a lot about him. I know his name is Jerry Hartman. Hmm. Married? Single? Married. Hmm. And I think his wife is an Barbara, interior. Barbara, how you do go on. I'm sure you're boring and silly. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> You know, Barbara, I wish I had your self-confidence. I would be afraid to even apply for a job like that. They'd probably laugh me off the force. Now, come on. From what I've heard, you've come up through the ranks really fast, so you must be pretty good at what you do. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> well, I really should be going. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. My God, Barbara, what is wrong with you? What did I do? Don't you recognize a manipulator when you see one? Have you learned nothing at all in your 28 years as my sister? <laughs> what are you talking about? I am talking about the way that Anne was working you. It's obvious she's after the same position you are. Carol, that is ridiculous. Barbara, wake up. <laughs> Didn't you see the way she was pumping you for information? You don't think she really came here to see your stupid back scratchers? <laughs> Damn it. I can't believe how stupid I am. Let me guess. Might this have something to do with our new best friend, Anne? Can you believe it? Not only did she apply for the job, but she got past the initial interview. She's been on the force for seven months. Do you know where she is right now? Having dinner with the man who makes the final decision? No, that's tomorrow night. <laughs> Tonight she's going shopping with his wife. 
Ooh, she's good. For six years, I have busted my butt on the force, and this suck-up comes out of nowhere, picks my brain, and now has a good chance of getting my job. Oh, poor, sweet, naive Barbara. <laughs> you thought you could get ahead by hard work and dedication. Yeah, well, I'll beat her at her own game. If it takes being a snake to get ahead, I can crawl on my belly with the lowest of them. Carol, teach me how. your PhD in manipulation in no time. Now, we've covered pouting, whining, the fine art of acting helpless. Uh, Barbie should really put those groceries away before the ice cream melts. I'd do it myself, but I know your tennis elbow. <laughs> now, Carol, do you really think this manipulation stuff works? Why do you think you're putting away the groceries? <laughs> wow, you're like a real master at this. This is like in that movie, The Karate Kid. You know where the real old guy teaches the cute young kid all his tricks? <laughs> Wax on. Wax off. My Barbara! <laughs> now, you're going to be working at a disadvantage because you've already blabbed so much to Anne. So what else do you know about the guy making the final decision? Well, he went to school at Indiana. Perfect. Pretend you're a big fan. Oh, I can do that. How about those Hoosiers? Great. Now, what else? He's on a diet. Excellent. You're gonna want your meeting to be the first one after lunch while he's still in the rosy afterglow of food. I can't do it. They want me there at four. Well, call his secretary and tell her to change the meeting to one o'clock. I don't know. Why don't you tell them that it conflicts with your volunteer work at the orphan's home? Come on, Carol, nobody buys that stuff. Oh, no. And how do you think I got out of doing the dishes every Sunday dinner? That's different. You had choir practice down at... <laughs> Anyway, Lurlane, Doctor is out on a lunch date with his perfect soulmate, thanks to my matchmaking. Well, of course I swung the rock counterclockwise. I'm a professional. <laughs> oh, here come the lovebirds now. I've got to go. Oh, excuse me. Sorry again. Sorry. Just well, I was just never... No, I do. I was really close. Oh, please. Go on in. <laughs> Well, it's been great, hasn't it? <laughs> great. <laughs> well... This is something Thank you. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, that was, uh, painful to watch. <laughs> No, I have been matchmaking all my life, and nothing like that has ever happened. What a disaster. I stood, she sat. I turned left, she turned right. I'm black and blue. <laughs> Could have been such a wonderful day, too. I mean, it was raining out. I love the rain. It's so romantic. You love the rain? Well, where do you stand on the hail? <laughs> you know, take it or leave it. Well, just wait a minute here, Buster Doctor. <laughs> When I asked you the other day, you told me that hail was your favorite form of precipitation. I wasn't paying attention. I just said something that came out of my face. <laughs> well, a little thing like that can throw the whole formula off. Now I've got to recalculate everything. Please, don't bother, please. Doctor's office. Oh, hi, Mrs. Moses. How's Timmy? Uh-huh. Oh, seems Timmy has suffered a terrible setback vocal cord-wise. He watched some blasphemers on Geraldo. Well, tell him to goggle and watch something else. Who's on Oprah? Why, swapping bigamists. All right, well, tell him forget TV and ask him if he wants free tickets to Judgment of Nuremberg on Ice. Ooh, with Brian Batano. <laughs> I'm Barbara Weston. Uh, Mr. Hartman will be with you in a moment. He's in with another interview right now. Oh, I thought I was going to be the first appointment after lunch. You were, but the other candidate needed to reschedule so she could donate blood for the Lithuanian flood victims. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks again for your time, Jerry. And thank you for sharing your ideas on daycare with me. Well, like I said, I think it's time we realize that women's issues are really people's issues. <laughs> Barbara, don't you look sharp today. Hi, Anne. <laughs> well, see you soon, Jerry. And give my best to Lyndon the boys. Will do. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> You must be Barbara Watkins. Weston. Oh, Weston. So I see you went to school in Indiana. Yeah. How about those Hoosiers? Are you an Indiana fan? Are you kidding? I think Bobby Knight is the best basketball coach that ever lived. Oh, come on. Uh, did you see that Kentucky game? Unbelievable! <laughs> I would like you to meet my fiance, Pamela. <laughs> the woman who will be by my side for the rest of my life. <laughs> Want to give me a beer? Well, it's a great pleasure. Charlie, you're getting married? Sometimes fate steps in and makes your choices for you. You know, it's funny. A couple of days ago, I thought this tattoo was going to work against me. Wait a minute, Charlie, Charlie. You're going to marry this woman because you have her name tattooed on your arm? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I promised her the whole ball of wax, you know, the house in the suburbs, the white picket fence, the station wagon, the kids. It's an American dream, Harry, and it's coming true for the future Mr. and Mrs. Charlie Dietz. This is weird, but I guess <laughs> congratulations are in order. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. Sure thing. And to think I owed all of this, baby. Hey, look, it's fading. Well, maybe the guy didn't have enough ink in his needle. What needle? The needle he used when he gave you the tattoo. Oh, I hate needles. This baby's pure magic marker. Charlie, all you have to do to get rid of that is just scrub it off. You mean I don't have to live with this for the rest of my life? Right. Or this? Pam, scram. Come on. Oof. Good thing we didn't get married. She's got a temper. What you think? Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Did you get the job? No, they gave it to Ann Caldwell instead. But what about all those things we rehearsed? What about those Hoosiers? Oh, Carol, I tried to do that stuff, but I just couldn't go through with it. Did learn something pretty important about life, though. You know what you become when you start kissing butt like that? A butt kisser! <laughs> Oh, Barbara Weston is no butt kisser. If I get ahead, it's going to be on my own honest terms. I can't believe someone like Anne is going to be so successful. Oh, honey, come here. I'm still real proud of you, you know? Come on, you remained true to yourself, showed a lot of integrity, and if this Anne person could get ahead on her own ability, she wouldn't have to kiss <coughs> stuff. Daddy, Barbara's not the only one who's, who suffered a terrible blow today. I taught her how to be manipulative, and she failed. What does that say about me, Daddy? Honey, don't take it so personally. Uh, Carol, you're a wonderful suck-up. <laughs> this is not fair. Not only does she take my job, but I have to watch her move into her new office. It should have been my office. Those should have been my filing cabinets. My chair, my plant, my thingamajiggy you put on the desk so when you write it doesn't hurt to finish. And? Jerry, hi. Hey, great hi. Yeah, and where's the daycare report? You promised me I'd have it by this morning. Uh, let's talk about that in my office, shall we? Now, my pot's on the line here. Maybe Ann can kiss it to make it better. <laughs> 
dear. Okay, I, I don't know what's wrong with me lately. I, I think I might be coming down with something, and I'm under so much stress. Well, I don't want to hear it. I just want that report by the end of the day. Boy, I really blew it this time. You must hate me. I, I don't blame you. I'm such a screw-up. Well, we all make mistakes. I'd really like to be friends again. I don't know. Oh, God, I don't know how I can write this report when I'm this upset. You're so smart, Barbara. I bet you could do it in a minute. You're right. I could. Bye. <laughs> I have found your perfect and revised so much. Stop, and Laverne, with the matchmaking. Come on. Oh, hi, Timmy. How you doing? His voice is back, Doctor. Just in time for the revival meeting. Ah, that's great news. I'm so glad to hear. I mean, I knew okay, that... Hey, Laverne, where's that perfect man you've been telling me about? <laughs> hi, I'm Harry. Michelle. That's a beautiful name. Oh, thank you. Would you like to... Uh... Yes. Fornicator! What? <laughs> Who said... Fornicator! Wait, I... Wait, 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 wait,